Yeah, David Dread of Steel Pulse, and I'm saying heal to Lion Voice because it's time that the lion have its voice, have its own story. Says I'm stepping out here. Hear me now. Yeah, the lion's voice. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> What do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? Light to the world. The king of kings and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. I like him himself. Where's your food? Hey, yo! Hey, yeah. Hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July. So tell them guy who prays God up in the sky. It's a lie. The Almighty living on your night. Asian time, them a try Them Romans, know them just open it Them suit and ties Criminals, ain't got no hallow by They stole my people, then them come spread out Them genocide, Are you talking about slavery? Them couldn't kill The lion will come conquer to the tribe Who? Go to tribulation I your nice tribe, see separation I your nice still rise That's why we tell them In America, live Rastafari right In every ghetto area we come if you tell them you're not to run no straight Welcome to the Lion Voice Network and welcome to the Lion's Voice, our flagship program here on the network every Saturday. And I have to give a special welcome because we are entering the coronation season. What does that mean? That means that within Rastafari, we celebrate November 2nd as the pinnacle of coronation, the day that Haile Selassie was crowned, um, the, the genesis of the birth of the global Rastafari movement when Haile Selassie became a known entity through the papers of the world, the sound reached Jamaica, uh, Chicago, other areas, we know the story. And we'll get deeper into it in future episodes. So the coronation is one of the biggest Isla days or Isla Bration in Rastafari uh, culture, Nyabingi is kept, you know, 12 tribe usually keep gatherings, bubble shanty, and brethren just generally honor and reverence this day. However, as we have evolved the movement, we've gone deeper into the knowledge and the, and the studies, we realize that it was not just one coronation, there was three crownings, the triple crown um, is often referred to within the faith. Um, the first of those days of that crowning are fast approaching, which is September 27th. The first crowning, which when he was uh, given the title of Ras, uh, Regent, uh, Plenipotentiary, and when he actually took control of the whole land of Ethiopia um, in terms of the power, heir to the throne. That was uh, September 27, 1916. And this episode, we're going to go into the events that surrounded that I wrote a song about it, The Way Rastafari Crown. That's the title song for this episode. It's the way Rastafari Crown. Uncomfortable. We come to tell them I'm a Babylon. They're falling down to far right. It's Uncle Lou. Uh, and then we're going to just talk about the significance of the Triple Crown. So we're in the season. Uh, I have something massive to announce uh hopefully we're finalizing all of the details so i'm praying that we'll be able to bring you some special content this coronation november 2nd coming up here on the lion voice network um, but we are going to dive into coronation so if you're new to the channel welcome this is the channel where we talk about uh things that are pertinent to the rastafari culture the pan-african culture black culture um, and we really give the lions and the lionesses a chance to tell their own story and we tell our own collective story we talk about relationships we talk about health we talk about all kind of things that relate to the culture right here so if this is your first episode you've come to the right place subscribe uh, and become a part of the lion pride how do you become a part of the lion pride those who are here we're almost 1700 strong now will tell you that to subscribe to become part of the lion pride you must subscribe uh, subscribe to become part of the lion pride so we are 
getting ready. We didn't even spend whole heap of time in the 1600s, to be honest. The Lion Pride are rolling. Uh, we had several milestones on the channel. I want to just say give thanks. The Lion Pride has been spreading the word so and I've been hearing the comments, um, the likes. It helps to push the, the message on the algorithm. We cannot burn Babylon uh, unless we present a, a viable alternative. And that is what this channel is all about. The building of Zion. Uh, what Rastafari future looks like. So we talk about the past so that we can have that anchor as we push forward to the future. This is not a channel where we're stuck in at the past. No. Uh, and we bring you cutting edge works from in the Rastafari movement. So welcome. We passed 14,000 unique viewers in the last 28 days. That's a milestone for the channel. That's a arena full of people have watched this channel uh, in the last 28 days. We passed 22,000 views in the last 28 days, which is also a new channel uh, milestone. We also eclipsed 300 subscribers uh, in the last 28 days. Again, these are all milestones for the channel. So I'm feeling so powerful. This is one of the most satisfying things that I've done as a creative, uh, as someone who has been advising creatives uh, to step out and do this for I myself. I, 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 I'm not going to lie to the item. It's been a joy to, to see the platform grow. Uh, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers by January 1st. So spread the word, help us to achieve this monumental task. We are pushing, we are getting ready to press gas. We have some exclusive interviews lined up coming up from the Rastafari family, the Pan-African family. We're going to drop them like a bomb. We have uh, on-site things that we are going to be bringing you live and direct. Uh, we are going to be bringing the item voices from the continent shortly as well so just keep it locked right here um, as we move forward but i want to get into the topic of the episode which is the first crowning the elevation of the chasmach to ras um i took the title the chasmach unto myself i want to just give a brief little history um when i came into the movement the elders that i came into some legendary elders you know, I was given the title of Ras, so Ras Kwasi, Ras Kwasi as a, as a youth just coming into the faith. And I charted um, within that fullness. But as I began to read and I began to study um, His Majesty and the journey, I realized that there was progressions. And this is where now the Rastafari man standard, um, one of the things that we're going to be bringing forward to the world or one of Ayman contribution. I would like to bring to the world and to the liberty is the Rastafari man standard. Meaning that when we see a man with the title of Ras, it's earned. We know that he's gone through a matriculation. And this is important in terms of rites of passage for our youths. If we can start them as Lidge, they uh, go through the stage of the Chasmach and they come into Ras. Um, in the case of uh, His Majesty, who, you know, we are named after His Majesty, so the tradition. We're not reinventing the wheel. We're walking in those footsteps. Now, how that relates to the individual, um, this is now where we're going to be having the reasoning as we put together the standard. And I'm not going to put together the standard I myself, but the concept and the idea I feel is important to use this platform to put forward that standard. And next episode, we're going to talk more in detail about the stages of His Majesty from a man perspective, a Rastafari man perspective as we matriculate, as we get ready to lead this new reality, this heaven on earth. We need a, a different standard of man to rise in the earth. The little loosey-goosey vibration cannot work. And we see we've, we've gone through um, generations of loosey-goosey. Yes, we have one and two man where we'll I hold the order and we give thanks, but we see with the advent of the internet and these things, it's very difficult because there's so much distraction. Um, the ones are not being persecuted. There was a time when the elders had to live together. So they were actually sharpening each other. They couldn't uh, mix with anybody because it wasn't accepted in the society. So the, of course, the standard of the liberty was that high. And this is that generation of legendary elders. We as a generation don't have that luxury 
people go home at them yard, they're distracted, they're not getting that concentrated um, dose of the liberty like the, the Asian time. So it's incumbent on I and I who lived and saw those elders, who interacted with those elders, who studied the king to leave a black print for the younger generation, for the next generation, so that they can continue to elevate. And again, the blueprint or the black print comes from Kadamawi, Haile Selassie. So I chat right now as the Chaz match, but I also say AKA Raskwasi because I was already given the title. So there will come a time when I will fully again rise and embrace the title. But I feel that to be a Ras, there are certain prerequisites that are necessary and I'll outline those in future episodes. Um, the Chaz match again, if we look at his majesty, uh, matriculation through life in the Chaz match is where he really established the foundation uh, to be crowned as Ras. And, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. So uh, let us go to the autobiography. I am the reading Ras. And before I forget, we have been reasoning with Ras Seku, Sankara Tafara. I watched that episode. So these are the things where, you know, the backdrop to what influenced me. I was involved in the in the trade union uh, movement, the, uh, the uh, United Labour Front um, in Trinidad. Who brought down? Who brought the country down to a standstill at one in 1975? Okay. Um, I also um, after that. Um, so well, uh, were you Rastafari at this time? Well, I started. I started to gravitate to Rastafari consciously around 1974. 1974. Yeah. Okay. So I started to gravitate to Rastafari consciously. So you were already active in the Black Power movement yes, in I was Trinidad. Active. Yes, I what was. What made you make that transition from Black Power to Rastafari? We heard about your mother telling yeah. you about the emperor. You went to see the emperor as a, as a child. Yeah. But now, as a young man, um, did you have a big afro at the time? Were you wearing the afro? Well, I, had, I had an afro, but I don't know if it was a big afro. My father made my father made me made my first um made my first um um afro pick or okay, afro, afro okay. pool, right out of out of out of out of um he had just come back from St. Croix and mm -hmm. um he made me my first wooden afro pick or afro comb with with what we use um spikes or from the from the from the bicycles yes you know, yeah so um and so on but what um the transition to black power was not uh, from black power it wasn't really a transition because within rastafari is this is the same thing it's yes, black power course. rastafari is just an extension of of, of uh, within the pan-african movement and pan-african family so mighty episode on lion talk live doing very well on the channel um, but we have been reasoning, so we are going to be working to make the autobiography and some other seminal books available through the Lion Voice ecosystem. We're working on the details. In the meantime, go over to Frontline Books, support Rasseku Tafara. He has a large catalog of Rastafari books. I'll put up the contact um, information on the screen. Go and support them. Let us circulate the Rastafari dollar, the Pan-African dollar, the black dollar, the global human family dollar. Because I know that there are people of all nations and creeds that watch the channel. And we welcome the item as part of the family. Um, but we have to build our root um, as a black man, as a Rastafari man. I have to talk to other black Rastafari men and, and implore them to rise. Well, the leaders of the world are failing their responsibility to lead the youth them to a brighter future. Well, I and I, I and I hear the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Earth's rightful ruler. Her ghost of free last the far I crowd, uncomfortable. We come to tell them I'm a Babylon near falling down to far right is Uncle Lou. We come to tell them how the way past the far right crown and Uncle Lou. We come to tell them I'm a Babylon near falling down to far right is Uncle Lou. We come to tell them how holy Papa is intrigue in fighting the Prince Solomon's seed. Well, Empress, I do want her family to lead. 
Well, King Michael wanting some Philly, but King Michael now watch the orphan married to him niece who get up every day and a study and a read. He work and he pray every day. He achieve them say a good leader. Every ancient leader just to pray past the far right crown and come to me. Me come to tell them I'm a Babylon. They're falling down to far right, Uncle Joe. We come to tell them how the big ass the far right crowd And come trouble We come to tell them how the Babylon They're falling down to far right This uncle yo Well that's Michael Son was having a good time when he should mind He affairs of the state Cause he's descend from the great line Of men that like the second But he's stepping on toes Of his elders treat his women like hoes He exposed now we working with the Ottoman Turks Say he's descending from Muhammad But that's not how this works See the crown was anointed by the Orthodox Church So if you are ruling as I don't have to put Christ first I just feel the last of my right crown Uncovered Me come to tell them I'm a Babylon They're falling down to far right This one will know Me come to tell them about the way that's the far right crown me come to tell them I'm a Babylon here falling down to far right this uncle yo Then Ross Michael find out him son was excommunicated He didn't care him and Ross the far right related army activated Hey yo, war drum beat and now I know every warrior pass straight They march to the capital, not nah skin teeth Them say your problems from them and to far I meet When them look up in the sky, war planes first on them seat I saw them start fear to far I name in the streets I just feel as the far I crown I come from you. me come to tell them I'm a Babylon They're falling down to far I dismantle you me come to tell them how the way that's the far right crown He's uncomfortable Me come to tell them how the Babylon They're falling down to far right It's uncomfortable you Me come to tell them how Perfect man, right. one take One take You did that one before Yes <laughs>